Morning's coronavirus press briefing in Springfield. Representatives from both Bay State Health and Mercy Medical Center reported declining hospitalizations from COVID-19. They also shared some of the techniques they are putting in place to continue to keep the public healthy. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo is live in Springfield with the latest. Audrey. Both hospital representatives sharing that good news today, saying that their ICU beds are not full and their COVID-19 inpatient numbers are decreasing. Now they're trying to expand testing and they want to implement more measures to make sure everybody feels safe when going to the hospital to seek any kind of treatment. This is months, um, this could be years, this could be um, really a new normal way of operating where we have different entrances, different elevators, different units. We will do whatever it takes. Chief Medical Officer for Mercy Medical Center Robert Roos says there's been an increase in safety measures within the hospital to prevent the spread of COVID-19. This includes COVID-free entrances, elevators, and a whole floor for those who have not been exposed. And that's not all. We are testing all patients for COVID prior to any surgical procedures and for care in other inpatient areas, including women that come in labor. Bay State Health CEO Mark Kerouac says they've been able to increase the criteria for those who can be tested for coronavirus. Now we're going to be expanding to patients who don't have symptoms, but are contacts of patients who have been tested positive. With both hospitals reporting declines in hospitalization rates, Western Mass News asked about potential treatments for those who are already sick. We do have a protocol for the use of remdesivir. Uh, the FDA has also um, released it on emergency use authorization, which would mean that even a hospital without a protocol could apply to use it in an individual case. Meanwhile, Roos says 19 patients in both Connecticut and Massachusetts hospitals in the Trinity system, including Mercy, have received a different type of treatment. We've talked some at some point about the use of convalescent plasma. Um, for which Trinity is engaged in a clinical trial to evaluate that effectiveness, and the early reports um, are showing some signs of promise. Now, this is all good news as the state looks to reopening. Dr. Mark Kerouac is actually on the state's reopening committee, which must have their plan ready by May 18th. We asked Dr. Kerouac today if by that time, golf courses, salons, and barber shops could be open. Similarly, uh, put forward in plans from both Connecticut and New Hampshire. He wouldn't say, but he did confirm that the governor and the committee are looking towards how other states are formulating their reopening plans. Live in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.